guys! Today I'm gonna show you five of the craziest residential buildings right here in Copenhagen. I'll start with one of the most iconic buildings in Copenhagen and one of Big's earlier projects along with JDS. It's called Mountain Dwellings and it's located in one of the newer neighborhoods in the city. It can be very easily recognized by the huge mountain perforated on the aluminium facade. The building consists of one-third living and two-thirds parking. Instead of creating two separate volumes, the architects decided to put them on top of each other. They concentrated the cars near the busy street and shaped the space like a mountain slope. The whole parking is wrapped up in this perforated aluminium which allows for natural light and ventilation to get in. By the way, the image is of Mount Everest. Every level is painted in a different color, which can be seen even from the outside. This allows for super easy orientation and it's something that BIG does in many of its residential projects. It's also a huge part of the interior and every corridor has its own specific color. Let me tell you, it's very difficult to get up on the wrong floor in this building. Since street parking is not allowed in this neighborhood, this is one of the few buildings that lets you park pretty much outside your door. The elevator is not vertical, but a sloped one, which allows you to climb the mountain of cars and go to your floor. But wait, I haven't shown you the biggest surprise yet. It looks very different on this side. These facades are pretty much the opposite of the other two. The materials here are very much different. There's tons of natural woods and greenery. To me, the best part of all is the apartments. The distribution of the space is really good and every room faces a huge private rooftop garden. There's a ton of natural light inside and it almost feels like you're living in a house and not an apartment. We don't have to travel far for our next building, because it's right next door. VM houses consist of two separate apartment buildings, and its most recognizable part are these triangle or balconies. By the way, this was the cover of my residential buildings textbook back in university. 
The main reason for these strangely shaped structures was to provide as much natural light and good views as possible. If you position two blocks parallel to each other, people would be looking into each other's windows. If you break them up a little bit, like a V and an M, then you no longer have this issue. Again, you have different colors for every entrance. In the building, there are over 80 unique types of apartments, most of which have two floors. Although this approach creates a great variety of homes to choose from, it can result in long and narrow apartments with tight living rooms and some wasted space around the stairs. Next on the list is actually a dormitory. It's a very interesting structure with an inner courtyard buzzing with life. Seen from the top, the building itself is a complete circle, which was then pierced to create five different sections and allow movement between the courtyard and the surrounding area. Each section consists of 12 residences on each floor. The private rooms face the outside of the building, while corridors, common areas and shared kitchens face the courtyard. This way of providing both privacy and shared sense of community without sacrificing one for the other is what makes this building so special. The way the common areas hang over the courtyard is quite dramatic and brings even more dynamics into the space. On the ground floor you have more shared rooms that are available to all of the occupants, such as the study, conference rooms, laundry, etc. Even though the materials are rather dark and cold, there is a lot of color in the interior. and a lot of wood paneling to warm up the space. Each of the single rooms comes with a private bathroom and a round shower, which acts as a barrier to provide privacy. There's built-in storage and a lot of the furniture is movable, which allows for different arrangements of the space. Our next stop is another dorm, but this one is made of shipping containers and it's floating in the water. The project is called Urban Riga and it aims to solve the ever-growing need for affordable student housing in harbour cities. The concept is simple. You have a hexagon pontoon made of concrete 
in which you arrange three shipping containers in a triangle. On top of them you place three sets of two and there you have it, 12 fully functional residences. Apart from the shared garden in the center, residents also have access to a gym, a laundry room and a big kitchen located in the underwater basements. There's also barbecues and large rooftop terraces. Each urban riga is painted in a different color and is given a name. There's two different types of apartments, depending whether it's located in a single or a double container. Every apartment has its own private bathroom and a compact but rather nice kitchen. So far there are six urban riggers in Copenhagen, but there are already plans to expand to places like Hamburg, Rotterdam and San Francisco. The interior is very minimal with some natural wood to add to the coziness. If you want to see more, I'll leave a link in the description down below of what it's really like to live in one of these shipping containers. Surprisingly, these crazy buildings are only a few minutes away from the city center, by boat of course. The last place I'm gonna show you is again on the waterfront, but this time it's not floating in the water. Architects are the Dutch studio MVRDV and their job was to transform two abandoned grain silos into a modern residential building. The first thing that comes to mind is to position the apartments inside the existing structures, right? But then VRDV had a very different idea. They chose to leave them hollow and put the residences on the outside. This was actually very smart because it allowed for a much better space distribution. So this is the old silo and later they added the rest of the building. The favorite part of this building, however, is inside these old silos. Are you ready? How cool is this staircase? It looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. And it's no wonder that Instagrammers love to sneak inside. For the record, they actually installed CCTV cameras. So please don't go inside without an invitation. The inside of these apartments is slightly curved and each one has a huge terrace. I can only imagine how nice the views towards the waterfront might be. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite of the five residential buildings I showed you. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.